Well, it's a major component of the water cycle and responsible for depositing most of the fresh water on Earth. But contrary to popular belief, the shape of a raindrop is not like a tear. That's how we always see it illustrated though, right? Where it's thin at the top, we all draw it, and then it gets fat at the bottom like that. You know, everyone talks about apple bottom, maybe you have like a, a raindrop bottom, you know, that type of a thing. So let's talk about the raindrop and how they form and how they actually look in the atmosphere when they're falling. So as we take you high up into the atmosphere, we're gonna talk about all these little suspended spherical shapes. So they're round, falling at about 10 miles an hour. Very small, only one millimeter in size. So these are all throughout the atmosphere. They, they bond together, they come together here, they collide and get bigger and bigger and bigger up to maybe three millimeters. Now look at a ruler, obviously three millimeters, not very big. But what happens is, is as this sphere, as this ball is going down, we get wind resistance. So the wind is actually pushing up on it. The thing flattens out and then better yet, the wind gets so strong it can tear apart and then you get these shapes and they go back together. So they never actually, it'd be really impossible for them to look as we draw them because you have that wind resistance that's pushing up on the bottom of these uh, shapes. So in reality, they look more like a hamburger bun where they're flat on the bottom and more round on top than they do a teardrop shape. Now, an average thunderstorm can contain trillions of raindrops here. So let's talk about the raindrops and where we are going to see them today and our forecast. So here's a look at... Ba -da -da. There we go. The rain that's going to be falling through the Midwest every time you look at this. And now when you draw a raindrop, you got to more draw it like a disc than it is, uh, you know, a teardrop showers and thunderstorms through the Midwest. And then also here throughout the Southern Plains along the Red River Valley, we are going to see those uh, showers and storms for you as well.